Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, it is 9.39 in the p.m. I just started this video, but somebody called me, and when they called, their number popped up on the screen. I should have kept doing the video and let the number pop up and have y'all calling the person, but I ain't like that. I just wanted to make mention to you all of something. In 1992, I started on a quest. Like I said, since I was 15, I understood Donald Trump was filing for his corporation's bankruptcy. And he was a billionaire and he was still remaining a billionaire. And I couldn't understand that. And then I knew of Kmart and JC Penney's filing bankruptcy and they were still staying in business. How in a, could they stay in business and they're filing bankruptcy? Everybody else I knew who filed bankruptcy lost everything. So how in the world these fools are filing bankruptcy and they're keeping everything? And I couldn't get it. How were they staying in business? Ladies and gentlemen, the process is you don't have to file bankruptcy. You just have to write off your debts. Bankruptcy is discharging your debts. Stop discharging your debts. Start writing off your debts. That's what the video, I found a code, is all about. Take a look at the video. Take a look at the video. Some of you are going to have to watch it seven, eight times. It's short enough for you to watch seven or eight times, but go over the information. Go over that code and with a fine tooth comb. I'm going to do you another favor. Ain't nobody else going to do this for you. Go over the federal regulations that's underneath the code that I show you on the video at the very bottom of the code. Go over that too. Understand everything about that code. Understand the angles. Understand there's loopholes there. Understand the loopholes. I promise you once you grasp that, you will never, ever, ever owe a single tax ever again. Taxes on your property, please. You get to sit up there and assign your credits to the county, to the city, and write off those taxes. IRS says you owe taxes? Write that junk off. Why? Because you'll already have the tax credits that you'll be carrying forward year after year. Those tax credits will be depleted. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there is one thing I'm going to need from you. Because I'm providing this information for you guys, and it is free of charge, this was my research. Nobody... Notice, nobody has been helping me with this. I did put two people on this at SACOM back in 19, or 2018, and both of the individuals didn't do what they were asked. That's just the bottom line. They, one of them tried, but he kept going off on his own angles because, oh, look, a tree. Oh, look, a car. Oh, look, there's a pebble. And he just kept every single thing led to another rabbit hole and he just kept getting distracted and that's what rabbit holes do they distract you because you see all too many different corners to cut off into and angles to go at that you don't stay on point ladies and gentlemen remember you are only interested in writing off debt right now do not focus on gaining money or paying cars and buying houses with it focus on just learning how to write off debt one thing at a time many of you are going to get distracted and you're going to get so far off course that you're not going to be able to come back because you're going to lose your focus. What I'm needing is after you learn how to write off your debt, what I'm needing is we need to now know how to take that write off and use it to pay debts such as car notes, student loans. Now, some of you are going to keep the information to yourself because you're selfish like that, and you're not going to realize that there are hundreds of millions of people out there who owe debts. So you cannot do all of them. You don't have an audience to do more than a couple of thousand a year. So stop being simple-minded. Ladies and gentlemen, we could have kept this to ourselves. I, Well, not we. I could have kept this to myself. I didn't have to tell nobody. I could have kept it to myself, ran the company, and did it all for us, and never told anybody else what we were doing. Never told anybody else about the code. Kept the code 100% secret. Why? Why would I do that? Look, the Bible says to guard against every sort of covetousness, which is greediness. Now, to covet something is to be greedy. To want something somebody else has to want something somebody else possesses 
is being greedy. I don't want what you guys got. I don't want to be like you. I don't even want to be like Mike. I don't give up about Mike. Okay. But many of you guys want to be like somebody else because you think that the grass is greener on the other side. I promise you not taking Mike, for instance, but let's just say Mike's name is Wamikwa. Okay. Wamikwa. We're going to just give it a name that we know nobody's named that. And if your name is Mamikwa, we are sorry. But Mamikwa is the greatest everything ever on this planet Earth. As a matter of fact, the only person he comes to, close to, is Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says that Jesus was a man. He was a perfect man. But do you guys realize that Jesus went to the toilet as a man? Do you realize he urinated as a man? Oh, yeah, no, he was perfect. He was God's son, but he took on the form of a man. Every man puts on his pants, but every man also takes off his pants to squat and get rid of stuff. Same like every woman. So ain't no man on this planet greater than you or better than you. They all do the same exact bull. Okay, now I'm not putting my brother, my Lord, my Savior, Christ Jesus down, to say the least. But I am just letting you know that he became a man. Why? The scripture says he humbled himself and took on the form of a man. Why? So that he could have empathy for us, so that he could know what we go through. Now, the thing is, no, he didn't get sick. So we don't have to even worry about that part. He didn't get sick, didn't catch colds. We, we got that already down. We already know those things. But we know that he got tired because the scriptures often told us of him going to sleep. We know that he got hungry because the scriptures often told us about him eating. So we know that he was man. But we also know that he was a perfect man in mind and in body. Okay, with that being said, stop trying to be like someone else, because when you realize that that someone else is just as imperfect as you, then you realize, why are you trying to be imperfect? Didn't you never realize that if you want to be like another man, then you're trying to be imperfect. That's why the scriptures say that we must be perfect as our Heavenly Father is perfect. That's what Jesus said. Go back and look at Matthew, the fifth chapter, verse 41 through the sixth chapter, verse five, and see how he expressed that. Okay. Once you get what's being said, then you can start to help your neighbor. Instead of being like the crabs in a bucket, pulling each other down just to climb on top of the back of another to get out. That's the problem with our society now. We're so willing to sacrifice everything, ourselves, our beliefs, our morals, just to get ahead. We will betray our best friend for a piece of paper. We'll betray our mothers and our fathers and our sisters and our brothers for a piece of paper. What for? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not trying to set an example for you guys. In my life now... For the last 25 years, I have done everything in my power to set an example. Can't nobody point a finger at me. A lot of people want to talk about my past 25 years, well, 27 years before. Everybody wants to talk about that past. You ignorant, stupid morons. I have seen rafters before because I used to have one in my eye. But all of you want to look at my past because it makes you feel better. If that's what totes your boat, if that's what keeps you going in life, then you really do have problems. Now, I was just telling people that YouTube, when I go to certain other sites and I look at the views on my account, I'm seeing hundreds of thousands of views a month. When I go to YouTube, I'm seeing only a couple of thousand views. What's the, what's the situation with that? What's the fact that it's showing different on other sites, but when I look at it through my account, it's showing 
little. Then you ask the question, why is Google constantly taking my subscribers and removing them? Ladies and gentlemen, I am noticing I already I have hundreds of thousands of subscribers, but many of them have been taken off the account. So one of them told me tonight, he says, I've been looking for your videos. I thought you were taking a break or something because I didn't know you were doing videos until I put in your name and saw that I'd missed a couple of 20, 30 videos. Ladies and gentlemen, too many people are telling me that Google is removing them as a subscriber. For no reason, they're not even giving me a warning. I'm just looking at the subscription and the numbers keep going down, which makes no sense. These people are not voluntarily removing themselves. That is Google doing that. I was already, <laughs> before my vacation time hit, I was already at 100,000 subscribers. Then all of a sudden, I come back off vacation and, whoa, wait a minute. Google removed 75,000 subscribers that I know of because they sent me an email? Remember how they were getting rid of all those uh, individuals whom they said were a threat and removing them from websites? Well, that's Google, ladies and gentlemen. So I say, don't look at the numbers because those are not the right numbers. You want to look at numbers, ladies and gentlemen. What I tell you to do is look at the numbers on that code. Look at those numbers. Go over that code. Understand that code like the back of your hand. Why? Because that's your best friend. Anybody says you owe taxes, that's it right there. That's how you get rid of all your taxes from this point on. If everybody followed that code, nobody would owe taxes anymore because your taxes will automatically be offset. The IRS and the Treasury has an offset program. Do not worry about their offset program right now. Understand the code first. All right. Look, ladies and gentlemen, I promise you I'm giving that information to you all because I know it will be helpful. Some of you are getting ready to lose your homes. Some of you are getting ready to lose everything. Well, before you lose everything, write your junk off. Send out your contracts to these banks. Put your coupon in there for triple the value of the property so that you can write off triple that debt. When I say triple the debt, triple the value of the property is the debt. And when you write that junk off, ladies and gentlemen, then you continue to not have to owe taxes from that point forward. Just that simple. The bank says you owe money, then you send them the tax credits saying, here, this is payment. You send them the tax credits the same way you will send them an IO style money order. Pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. The hour style money order said that it was in credits. Haven't you, any of you ever paid attention? I just needed the code to prove that we could do that. Now, that's what I need your help in. You want to help me? After you learn this code, I need to prove that we can take our credits, our tax credits, but pay attention, shh, our credits, our tax credits. No, 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 no. Pay attention, our credits, our tax credits, because those are ours. The tax credits are ours. After six months of that tax credit being coming due, we do Matthews the sixth chapter and we forgive our neighbors their debts as we ourselves want to be forgiven our debts. I told you they're using scripture. So we forgive them their debts. And once we forgive them, the tax credits are automatic. We don't have to pay for them. We don't have to ask for them. We don't have to beg for them. They're automatic. The only thing we have to do is document it. If you don't believe me, go and read the code. Go and read the code and see what the requirements are. And then go and read Matthew 6, chapter, verse 6 through 14, and see if they're not practicing that. Now, you said 6 through 14. You know it starts at number 9. Ladies and gentlemen, 6 through 14. Because you ain't got to go tooting your horn on a street corner. You don't have to announce it. Your right hand does not have to know what your left hand is doing. You don't have to go and tell it, oh, I done wrote off $185 billion this week. You ain't got to tell nobody. You just have to document it. Okay? 1099C and the 1040 Schedule C. You do everything under the accrual method. The Schedule C is where you document that you're using the accrual method. Do everything under the accrual method. You do everything as a sole proprietor. If you haven't been operating as a sole proprietor, then go back to the year that you started operating as a sole proprietor, but understand the code first. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to find out now how to do our so-called 
credits, using our credits to discharge or to offset our debts, using our tax credits to offset our debts. That's your key phrase. That's what you're working on. That's what we need to find out. You get any information that is useful, like the code that I gave you guys, send it to me. And I will get other people to help us and we will do this together. Are you guys willing to do that? Because I'm willing to help you. I've been helping you. I promised everybody that I was going to provide more help. I told you, if you all helped me out, it would free me up, give me the time to do it. And have I not kept my word? Since you all have helped me, over 500 videos have been done. Pay attention. Since you all have helped me, over 500 videos, please don't let anybody say that I haven't kept my word. Please don't let anybody say that I haven't given you guys more than what I ever promised. Now, I got one person who is a SAT packer. They wrote SATCOM today, and this one I did respond to on behalf of SATCOM, but they wrote SATCOM saying they've been with SATCOM since 2017, one of the original SAT packers. Ladies and gentlemen, the original SAT packers pay $260 for their SAT pack. $260. This person said they ain't got no benefits yet. They want their stuff now. It's been time is up, you know, literally. Ladies and gentlemen, I had to point out to the person, you pay $260. And at the time, everything that that SAT pack included, we provided. We did say that we were going to add to that SAT pack as time went on. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the life of me, I keep telling everybody we are working actively on the SAT packs. I can't do it all by myself, and I'm the only one training the staff. And I can only go as fast as they can retain the information. We're bringing in five more people, but they are only going to be handling the tax credit issue. That's And that's that's not your decision. That's mine. So don't worry. Don't step in my business. Ain't got nothing to do with you. We will get this done. We will get the paperwork done. Some of you will start to receive stuff by the middle of February because, sorry, we, it's paperwork, people. We have to put the documents together. We have to create the documents. We cannot just create a piece of paper and put things on. Now, look, I got one more thing to show y'all. Sorry. Give me a second. Let's see. Yeah, words. The only problem is I canceled out of it. Uh, this device, this document. Let's see if it's this one. Let's see if it's this one. There you go. This is what someone wrote. I want you all to pay attention. This is from a Jehovah's Witness. This is someone who they got it. And I'm only showing this to you because they got it. And I just want you all to get it. And then I'm going to get off of this, uh, let's see, 18 minutes and 26 second video. Just wanted to send a thank you. As I've been reflecting uh, back on our conversation from the other day, we humans, we end up in situations either because of our own faults or the faults of others. However, most of us are so, oh, woe is me, self-pity mode that we forget to depend on Jehovah. Many years, I thought he left me and therefore I left him. Left him, this fellowship, or just completely walked away, don't know. And upon my returning to Jehovah, truthfully, I have been in a half anus mode because I have been still doubting at many times that he was there and helping me. I'm just adding the words, okay? Subconsciously, I was dwelling on the past. However, I see the bigger picture now. I will give you one quick example, and it's from when I went to prison for three years, three and a half years, and probation for five years. Ladies and gentlemen, three and a half years and five years, that's eight and a half years this individual was incarcerated, because that's the sentence. Probation is a sentence. Go back and look at the 1980, it's the 1984 Sentencing Commission. Probation is a sentence. You can even type that in the case text. 
and you'll see probation is a sentence. That's why they sentence you to probation. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't be sentenced twice for the same crime. You can only be sentenced once. There is nothing in the law on probation. You're supposed to do your time, and that's supposed to be it. But they came up with this probation scheme in violation of the law. But we're not here to talk about that. This person goes on to say, but after two and a half years, we're right here. Okay. But after two and a half years of doing good, I was violated unlawfully and unjustly. And then had to go back to prison for another year. So the person spent four and a half years in jail. After watching your videos, I now understand, pay attention, that because I was put on probation, I can now sue the city and the state and the prison system for that time, day for day, that I did incarceration contract via arbitration and then accept the bad debt for tax credits due to their failure a future default which I can then hopefully use to help not just my friends, but others in my community. Thanks to Jehovah for uh, due to that situation. Ladies and gentlemen, let me explain something to you. This person got it. That person got it. You know what they got? Uh, chlamydia? Your mama. Ladies and gentlemen, that person got that now I need to figure out how to use the tax credits to offset the debts of my friends and my family's members. Help others in my community. See, that person got that I want to try to help others. I'm looking for people to help me with the request that I just did in this video of finding out how do we use this to offset. Now, there are going to be some people, like I said, who are going to figure this out and they're going to keep it to themselves. I'm not interested in those people. Those are some selfish mother, and they deserve whatever they have coming. Look, everybody who has tried to take my information and keep it to themselves and not help others, well, they've had to suffer as a result, and they they have no peace. I know this. Nobody can, because my information comes from a source that if you misuse it, you're not going to have peace. I already know this. Nobody has to tell me. There are several people who... I tried to help who were making a go at it. And then when I tried to bring them into the fold, they couldn't handle it. Why? Because they were selfish minded. Some of them don't even keep in touch with me anymore. And that's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I put this information out there for you because I think that it will benefit you because I know that you all need the benefit. Um, Mr. Kalib, I said Kalib. <laughs> Sorry, that was a friend of mine who died, the name Kalib. So I apologize for that. Um, good, good person, and he is no longer with us. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Don Kilam, uh, that gentleman in that video he did with concerning myself pegged me pretty good that I am here to help people that that's what I dedicate myself for. There are going to be people out there who are going to talk about my past. Go right ahead and talk about 27 years ago. Go right ahead. Knock yourself out. But I dare you to talk about five years ago. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I got to get rid of this. That's me hitting the wrong button. Well, my, my touch screen. Come on now. Hold on. Let me pause, y'all. The moment I paused you, it cut off. Okay, that's me stretching and the phone hitting my chest and so touchscreen, and that's what happened. So I apologize, and that's that little mic button in the middle at the bottom down here um, that it hit. Ladies and gentlemen, what I can assure you is no one can challenge myself as a person over the last 25 years. No one. They can't point to anything that I've done to harm anybody or to take something from somebody or to take advantage of anybody, no one. And I dare them because that will be the punk of the century who would even imagine in their mind that they can challenge my reputation of the last 25 years. I dare you. I dare anybody who could challenge my conduct in the last 25 years and says that I have acted selfishly 
that I have not been trying to help my neighbor, that I have not been trying to make other people's lives better, that my life has been placed on hold because I've been trying to help everybody else. It's a shame, ain't it? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the best way I can help you is to help you understand tax credits. The best way I can help you is to ask you to help me find the information on how to take those credits and apply it to debt. Because see, once you find an information and you give it to me, you get to take care of yourself and your family members and your community. You can even start a business doing it. The only problem is, you know I'm going to tell it to everybody else. So don't worry about that. There are almost 4 million people, 400 million, excuse me, 400 million people in America. You cannot help all 400 million. Sorry, you don't have that ability. You're just one person. Even if you got a corporation together, it will take you too long to get to the point where you can help everybody. So just worry about if you want to start a company, do that. But don't worry about competition. You're better off with providing that information to me, putting it out there, and then me providing the other information to help you improve your business. Because I guarantee you with the video, I found the code because that's the foundation for this video. I guarantee you with that video, so many people will now improve their corporate structure as a result of that. They will all be tax exempt. They will all be in a much better situation now, including the fact that many people lost their business because of COVID. They had to shut down because they didn't know that they could write off their debts. Look at how many years, you guys. You can go back seven years. You can go back seven years writing off your debt. That's what I want you to focus on. Get rid of your debt first, people. Become debt-free. Write off your debt. But that's how we get started. So that's the help I'm going to need. Are you willing to help? I'm doing this on my cell phone because I am laid up for the rest of the day. I've been up and up and up trying to help you all. Then I've also been trying to put out some fires in my own personal life. These are not no big fires. This is just dealing with stupid companies like Walmart, okay? Or the battery that I purchased for $1,400 is not keeping a full charge. So I had to call that company today and so on and so forth. So there are some minor little things going on, nothing huge, Okay, and I tell you, I'm putting this information out there for you guys because they can't stop that. They can't stop that collaboration of you coming together, putting the information together, and then eventually we'll put together a video where you all will get to leave your comments. But here's the other reason why you don't get to leave comments on my videos, because you don't need nobody tracking you. You don't need nobody using an algorithm to figure out your next move or to figure out who you are or to track you or to claim you're this and to claim you're that. Plus, if leaving the comments off, you don't have to worry about the trolls who want to leave uh, websites to promote their business on my channel without asking me for permission. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about some organization putting a troll in there where they're going to put misinformation in a comment section. Because a lot of people can't watch all the comments that people are leaving. So there's no need for me to leave comments on. Why? Because you have something you want to say? Well, go get your own channel and say everything you want to say. But for right now, we're talking about the code. Let's stick to that subject. The topic of conversation. So many people are going to take so many rabbit holes. Ladies and gentlemen, get back to the co topic of conversation. Stop following the rabbit. Stop trying to chase the rabbit, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this ain't about chasing no rabbit. Okay? Or, 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 why must I be like that? Why must I chase that? This ain't about no atomic dog. Stop chasing this junk. Because none of you are achieving anything because you're chasing after the wrong thing. Take care of you first. Your credits, your taxes. Take care of your education on this first. If everybody was to write off their taxes, everybody would be out of debt. There would be nobody struggling to get out of debt. Your credit would be fixed. Do you understand what this means? That's why I'm needing your help. Because I want to try to help everybody become debt free. I think we can do it. What do you think? So let's start doing the research. Oh, and no speculation. 
Okay, sorry about that. Did it again. No speculation. The other thing we don't need is your presumptions. Well, I think it means this. Oh, I think you should do this. And I, we don't need all of that. I need the facts. Like I'm showing you the code and I even took you to a site that explains it from lawyers. So I don't need to tell you what it means. They told you what it means. And then they told us where the code is. And then I looked up the code and showed it to you. I've been looking for it for 30 years, people. 30 years. And many of you guys don't understand it. But if you go back, I keep telling you, I've been talking about tax credits for quite some time. 30 plus years. It, was, it wasn't until 1992, this is shortly after the operation, that I focused on tax credits. Why? Because I heard them mentioning it with corporations. They were always going after credits. That's why December is such a big year. That's why so many people donate to charitable organizations. Month of February. I mean, not February, but November and December of every year. So they can write it off on their corporate taxes. It's a write-off, people. A refund is a tax write-off, and you don't get it. A refund is a credit. A write-off is a credit. So now how do we take these credits, our credits, and use our credits to discharge debt? That's our focus. Thank you, everybody, for paying attention. I am going to finish watching my NCIS Los Angeles because I have a Disney. Let me show it to you. I'm interested. Let's see. Disney, 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 Disney. Disney, where you at? There's my Disney channel. Hold on, Disney. Hold on. This is my Disney. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, my Disney channel. And this is the actual Disney Plus app mod app. Okay, I, I didn't. I'm not gonna hit the play button. I just want y'all to see I got it. Okay. Now, with that being said, let's uh, go back here. But that's the fourth season, because I've seen every season, the first and second seasons. I've seen those. My only problem is I didn't see the end of the third season. And I should go back and watch that. But I'm going to start there with the fourth season because I pretty much know the characters and I do like NCIS Los Angeles. Not because of just LL Cool J. What I will tell you something, LL Cool J started off as a rapper. Okay? And look at him now. He's been in that series for 10 years. The same amount of time or the same amount of years as he put out albums. I think he's done like 13 albums now. Okay, but he did the album 10, showing that that was his 10th album. So I give Elo credit that he transitioned, which is what, uh, what 50 Cent realized and Eminem realized. Eminem hasn't transitioned, and that's a shame. He did 8 Mile and all of that, but he really hasn't transitioned. 50 Cent did power transition. LL definitely transitioned. He's been in too many TV series already, too many movies. LL Cool J, when he calls himself the GOAT, I give him a little bit of credit. All right. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I wanted to share with you. And this launcher, I don't know who did this launcher, but I like it. Okay. Because it tells a whole lot. You see that right there? These are all the different programs I have on here. We can go up and down because it's a ton of programs on this one thing. Okay. Mostly mod apps because I do a whole lot. I be multimitasking. Okay. With that being said, thank you all once again. Let me go ahead and let you all get back to your day. Again, the video, pay attention to it. The one that says, I found the code. I'm pretty certain that you will learn something. Have a good day, everyone.